My name is Cutie Patootie. Thank you for joining me for episode three of Survival with Cutie. I am so glad you're here. I've been totally freaking out about a few things and I wanted to talk to you about them. I've been doing a lot of off-screen recording. This and then that and literally so many things in between. And then it occurred to me, this is not what people want to see you do, Cutie. Listen. I know what people say about me. Let's face it, I'm a total spaz. I'm a death seeker, mistake maker, total freak out maniac. And half the fun of watching me play is to see me be ridiculous. And it's not like I haven't been playing this game for years. I have, but I am me and I am owning that right now for you. So. I'm not going to edit so much. I'm going to give you what people tell me I'm good at, and that's providing ample opportunities for ridiculousness. Feel free to poke kind fun at me, correct my mistakes, laugh at my foolishness, because I'm doing it too. Anyway, as I've mentioned, I've done some off-screen recording. I've worked a bit upstairs in the yard, and also down here in the mine a bit. Here's the yard. And now we can talk about the mine, but here, watch this first. So I decided that I needed so many more resources that I better just get down into the mine. Also, that had partly to do with the amount of pillagers that just kept spawning. So I got going on my mine, and but I needed to come back up to get some more wood and some other things to make my mine complete, and I found even more pillagers uh, wrecking my life. So rather than just try to escape them and, you know, run like a scared rabbit, I decided I would just take care of these guys as quickly as I could. I did take a fair amount of damage, but thank goodness for my shield, because otherwise I would have been dead. Look how many hearts I have left after I have dealt with these guys. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean... And then this guy, he looks a lot scarier than he really is. He looks like he should be, like you know, big, the biggest, baddest guy of all, but he dies the same way they all do. And then back to the mine to, God, I have an arrow in my back, back to the mine to get down all the way to the bottom where all I found was like four layers of lava that I had to deal with because I am pretty motivated to get to the very bottom I was going to do a time lapse on building my house, but then re realized that I needed a lot of resources, and so I've gone off to get those resources. You might wonder why I went through all of that. Why I insist on always mining at level 5. This is why. Here we go. I am going to heavily work on getting a fortune pick because this was... This is my entrance. There's lava all around here. This was my this was my most viable hallway. But immediately I found that. Shortly after, I'm gonna run down here. It's 
this the right hallway? Am I even looking in the wrong, right place? I have five of those stacks of diamonds. See, there's one, there's two of them down there. One of them on the, one of them right in the middle and then one of them beyond there, or maybe two. I don't even know where they all are, you guys. They're in here. Now I need to find them. I'm so, <laughs> there's, okay, let's count. So there's one, two, three, four, there's four diamonds here. I, I, I've been digging back the way that me and my friend Silver Beetle learned to mine quite a long time ago. Oh, here's some more. Here's one, two, three, four, five. I don't have a pig anymore, so I'm just going to do this <laughs> this way. I think I ran back to get a pick, and then I was so tired after mining that I was like, Bleh, I'm going to bed. All right, this stuff. Oh, bedrock, yay. All right, so there's that. I, don't think, I actually don't think that there's... Oh, yeah, there is. There's one, two, three, four, five. Is there any more? One, two, three... Four, five. So there's five plus four plus I think six. I, I'm pretty sure that that's all the diamonds I found down here because like who would be so lucky? You guys, I mined for an hour and a half last night in these tunnels. So what I did, this is a really effective way of <clears throat> branch mining. Oh my gosh, I am like starving. Um, well, and, and I also, like, exposed, dude, so much obsidian, too. I mean, there's just, like, so much ready to go. There's nothing under this obsidian. It is all cobblestone. Like, I just made sure that it was, I'm quite the, like, <laughs> expert lava coverer if I really want to. Like, yeah, I mean, I showed you the video of, like, all that lava right there that I was absolutely bound and determined to, um remove in order so that I could like mine at this level. So so what I do is I I I make a hallway. And then I go 10 blocks between each hallway, 11 blocks actually. I believe 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10. Okay, 10. And then every third block I just dig straight in as far as I can every third block I go in as far as I can, okay? Um, and then on the other end, and that's actually five blocks. Five or four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. that's five. And then I go down ten blocks, and I do the same thing, five blocks. And that one block right there is the block on the other side that's the final block that I couldn't reach in that other hallway. In that other hallway, one, two, three, four, five. So the reason why this is so great is I go up three. This will show me all the blocks from here, 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 and all the way down five blocks. So then I move over two blocks, and this same thing shows me all of those blocks again for 10 blocks and then I turn around and I do the same thing over there so like there's redstone clear down there but I'm doing this every third block so I really like I have done a lot of mining where I do just every like second or third block but if you really want to get efficient this is the way to go this is how I found all those diamonds down there um, these diamonds I found just by making this long hallway here and they were I found these within just a few minutes of actually clearing out the lava down here you can mine on level 11 like people used to like I used to like we used to forever but it's just not it's just I mean you can find diamonds there for sure but you're not gonna find many okay I'm actually looking now oh look more obsidian I forgot about that I'm looking now for all I think if I had diamonds, I would have, like, made some kind of, but I think when I come back to get all these diamonds, I'm going to have to be, like, pretty careful to, like, really make sure I find them all because I didn't 
mark them well. What I should do is just write down all their coordinates or something because I know I I found a lot. <clears throat> those were I don't think those were the only ones I found. But what I did find was a crap ton of iron. Like I'm I'm fully outfitted now with all my tools. I have plenty of iron. I have plenty of coal. And when I came down here, I had none. And I also needed cobble for my house. So, um, <laughs> I feel like I'm going to get whiplash in two seconds. Anyway, so what I'm going to, why I've left those diamonds, obviously, look, I, my pick ran out. That's what happened. I didn't finish here. Um, it is pretty easy to get a fortune pick. Um, you can find a village, you can make a crowd, you can make a lectern and, you know, force a village villager to get the fortune trade. I almost feel like that is, I mean, that's a good, that's a good way, but I'm really just going to focus on getting my crafting table set up um, and then go that way. Uh, this is, but this was an accident. This is supposed to be a water block, but I, I, it was just a little science experiment. Um, I just poured lava in here. <laughs> I accidentally picked up some lava and then I poured it in here and, and now I have obsidian. <laughs> so I have diamonds upstairs. I can go make a diamond pick and get rid of that. But the reason why I have water down here is because I love to drop into my mine from above. But when I do, I die. It, you can check out Lightning MC, the SMP I'm playing with my boyfriend, Brother Zeos, and also, um, oh, I wanted to show you that too, and my good friend, Silver Beetle. And I died jumping into um, his, his mine. It's, it's just, and I don't think we got it on video, but it's literally, <laughs> I jumped in there right as he was saying, oh, hey. It's cutie proof, and I just die. So that's a mine shaft with a creeper. I'm going to, you know, move away from. There's also a ravine. So I've, I've tried to make these little pit stops obvious for when I feel like I'm more equipped to get in there. I like the mine shafts, but I like them mainly so I can get a bow, and I already have one. So let's check out what's been going on upstairs. I did show you some of the stuff that's been happening. I, I <laughs> is it behind me? <laughs> All right. So this is why I decided to to um, just play because I am a just a grandmaster spaz, and you that I think is going to be the most fun for everyone involved is to just watch me. You, I, I did. I don't think I recorded it yesterday, but when some pillagers came, I had 13 arrows, and I I came over here when they when they came, and I built myself up on a pillar. These were the first pillagers, and I sh and they were moving around so much that I literally wasted all of my 13 arrows, and then and then just waited for them to despawn while I came over here and started building my mine. The second ones, I did not have any arrows, so I just went over there and just kicked their butt with my fist. I mean, my sword, but still, I did it, and I got that. And I also got, of course, um, what's that? Omen, you know, where you go to a village and you, like, start a raid. I, I didn't have time to go get a cow at the time, so I just kind of left it. And hey, interestingly, it went away after like an hour and a half than I, when I was in the mine. Um, so that was good. I also I also did this. I, can't, I don't know where they are. I got him, but like I brought him over here. I got some chickens, but I keep losing them. I put them in the ground. I can hear them. Where are they? Where did I? Oh, here they are. <laughs> I keep losing them. I don't know where they... Ooh, eggs. Eggs. So I got some chickens because I am a bow user. Like I've said, I just feel naked without them. And um, I just need I just need more of them. I, I have enough sticks for 
ages I have enough flint. I just don't have enough chicken feathers. So I, I lured a few over here into my pit of doom to, you know, die a horrible death and, and help me out. So I'm going to go feed them real quick. And let's see if I can find them again. I really need to, like, stick a torch. Where the heck? Why do I always lose my chickens? Here they are. I mean, I got to do something. I've got to do something so that I can find them. Here, let's do this. This is probably not a great idea to be just like, I always put my torches in my right hand when I'm mining because I don't worry about, you know, having to fight when I'm mining necessarily too bad. I mean, sometimes that backfires, but for the most part, you know, I'm pretty safe. Hi, chickens. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? You've been down here forever. Your black eyes are creepy. Here, make a baby. Make a baby for me to kill and use its feathers for my own needs. All right. I also threw together this little tiny ghetto farm on the bank of the river. I feel like I could make a song about that. I don't. I didn't really need these. No, I mean, I was looking. I, I collected so much. Uh hey um in the villages that I could literally go get cows I really do need to get some cows because um if I'm gonna <laughs> I mean if I'm gonna if I am going to make a enchantment room I am going to need um cows gonna need the cows so also gonna need this so unless I go find a village that has a, a you know a decent farmer in there so you know that's a possibility and to be totally honest I would rather do that it sounds more fun I mean domestication you know I've had my share of that Come here. And you. I love the fish close by. It's like Insta food. And they, they just respawn all the time. Who needs like to like be a you know who needs to like manage livestock when you got all these fish to just murder? So what do you think? Should I just go find a village? Oh, it's getting night. It is really dangerous around here. Oh my gosh, I did die the other night. Um, I logged on to do something and it was dark. And there is no, I do not have it lit up here at all, thinking about it now. And there were mobs everywhere. They chased me. I could not get a word in edgewise. They killed me. And I respawned like right there and it was fine. But... I, you know, I died. And and now I have 24 levels because I'm saving it for my fortune pick. But I don't really want to die. So I should I should go I should go sleep. And I've been in the mine for days. I'll bet there's phantoms too. So this is my house. And <clears throat> true to my to my word I'm using the acacia, which is great. I found, I, I was thinking about, I was thinking about what I wanted to do and what what's the best thing that you can make with redwood, with, you know, with the acacia. And I was thinking about the fact that, you know, my great aunt has the cute, has a cute little um, cabin at this, you know, resort lake. And it's just really cute. I just really love it. And I thought, oh, that's a great thing. So I found a picture of it, and I decided to make it. Well, it's it's going to be kind of big, and there's going to be some resources that I'm going to need, like way more trees. I mean way more trees. So also, I need to put – I should show you a picture of it, but I, sh I need to put – like probably three 
blocks of cobblestone under here and then I need just a crap ton of what of glass because this cabin is a resort lake cabin so of course it's like it's looking out over the beautiful like lake actually this is going to be the you know quote unquote front door that actually is not really a very great front door and that part is the part that's going to like have like the big balcony over you know overlooking the lake and stuff it's going to be awesome but there's a lot a lot of windows so i've got to go over there and get a bunch of sand and that's really the only thing i think i think i left a bunch of my acacia downstairs but where is that zombie like he's making i did find out anyway okay but i'm not going to get distracted distraction is me um Oh my gosh. What is happening? All is quiet. Did they kill each other? Also, you know, when I was in my little mine, um, you know, I came across I came across the ravine. Well, here, here's here's part of that ravine and I mean I just I'm gonna have to go down here at some point because I really want to find out if there's a mine shaft not a mine shaft a, a, a spawner you know a dungeon or something but that's not yet I don't need the XP yet and and Honestly, I I don't think it's probably going to be in there. It's going to, if there's going to be one, I'm going to have to be going into like these caves and there's a lot. And, and the first, the first one I'm going to try to do is the ones that are, that, that are off of my mind, I'm off of my mind ladder. Anyway, so back to the house and I, I got enough cobble, which can be difficult at level five because there's all of that new deep slit. Oh my gosh, <laughs> there's the skeleton in that jacket. Jackrabbit. Hello. Ooh, 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 ooh. Come on, get me. You'll burn to death. Gosh dang it. Come on, come on. I don't have any arrows. Come on. Come on, come on. Get out, get out into the sun and burn to death. Let me help you. While I'm at it, <laughs> come on, I'm right here. Come on over here and burn to death. All right, perfect. Ooh, there's arrows right there. There's a lot of zombies down there. I don't really want a zombie spawner, though. They'll just burn to death right here. This is when a, a creeper would come up behind me and murderize me. Come on. Okay. All right. I had a shovel. dirt on me, huh? Where's those arrows? Did I not get the arrows? Ah, that's the whole reason why I went down there. Son of a gun. See, that's me right there. I want the arrows and the XP. I don't need the zombie flesh. I don't really. Should I go to a village? Should I just take off and find a village? I know where there's a village. There's a village in the desert. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm pretty sure that I took coordinates of it over there. But I don't remember there being a villager, a librarian. But that's okay, because I can make one. And that's totally fine. Hmm, I wonder if that would be more lucrative than me making my own. What do you think? 
Well, okay, so at my next video, I'm going to get some sand. I'm going to go there right now and start mining for sand. Ooh! All right, so yes. he gave me two leads, which is so, so good. I know you guys didn't like to see that, but but I'm sorry that I had to do that. Um. I don't have any slime, so I can't make my own. Oh, oh, I was going to tell you, for the roof of my cool little hut, I'm going to use this tough. Tough? Is it called tough? Tough. It's tough. Because it's got this, like, greenish hue. At least it did in the mine. And it, like, I think it'll actually look pretty cool next to that as the roof. I could be wrong. I could totally hate it and have to take the whole thing down but I'm gonna I'm gonna go with it at least for now it sure looked a lot more green in the mine <laughs> I was considering using copper that would take a lot more time and it's fine what have I got else to do <sighs> okay all right I'm gonna go up here I unload my stuff mine the obsidian without dying all right all right now i'm safe again yay okay all right you guys when we come back to episode three we'll get some sand we'll run over to the village maybe if you guys think it's a good idea or i'll do it the hard way either way is not like the easiest way ever you guys tell me which way to go villager or make my own enchant enchanting room you tell me so hope you enjoyed today's video I think this is a good decision to just include you in my day-to-day -day instead of trying to you know give you all this replay of all the other stuff that I'm doing it's it's more comfortable for me and you get to see all the bloopers all the craziness all the way my crazy mind works so anyway I am so glad you were here if you liked today's video like and subscribe to uh, my channel because it really helps me a lot. Check out my other videos. For sure, check out Lightning MC with Brothers Dales and Silver Beetle. Um, we are having a lot of fun over there and you can see a lot more of my chaos over there. So anyway, hope you guys had a great day. We'll see you next time. Bye.